those of you that are into initiation, they will take something. They will say, take. This is a covenant between you and us. Hmm. Understand the Bible. Jesus was initiating them into his heavenly court, but they did not understand it. He said, take it. This is my what? My body. Now, Matthew 26, 27. 27 says, then he took the cup again. He took the cup and he lifted it up and he gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink from it. Drink from my own cup. They eat his own bread. He now took his own cup that he is drinking. He about will drink water and he will take, give you the water and say, pour it. If this thing not dry, I am not called. Because there is something in me. I am trying to establish a covenant of healing that I have. How much more? This communion today is a communion me and my wife alone now prepare. If I am a servant of God and I carry his prosperity, then why can't you receive the same prosperity I receive from Jesus and go with it? Kai! I broke my television. See my wife when I was studying the Bible. I don't know when I bah, my hand there. Kai. 28. He told them there. After he said, For this is my blood now. This wine you drink from my cup. This bread you drink, you eat from my plate. Is my blood. The old covenant you people have with Moses by sacrificing bull and goat is no more. It doesn't exist again. You are now in a new covenant which is shed for many for remission of sin. Look up here. You don't need to go to confession to partake in his communion. For Judas that killed him was among of them and he partake of the same communion. What the communion does is for remission, for taking away. That's to say, if you're a righteous man, don't take it. Then who among us is righteous? He said, only one is good. Who? His father. You will go, bless me, Namo, for I have sinned. This is my hundred, one hundred and fifty. My friend, that is irrelevant. Once you come, Lord, I've come as a sinner. As I partake in your blood and your body, I need your, Revelation 5 verse 12, I need your power. Your power is in your blood. I need your power. It's a saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive what? Power. Jesus was slain for us to receive power. Second thing is riches. You can't be poor. Third thing is wisdom in his blood. You can't lack wisdom. Fourth thing is strength. Your strength will not fail you. Fifth thing is honor. You must be honored. Glory. Glory must follow you. And seventh thing is blessings. This is what Jesus died for. He gave them these seven power package blessings as they were drinking the wine and the bread. Sir, should I applaud you in this place? All these seven blessings are available in this place today. Nobody is permitted to live here the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look up here. Jesus has a blood covenant with everyone that believes in his name. That is why John 6, 47 to 58 says there clearly, is he established a covenant with us. We are in his court. We are in his own kingdom. He said, most certainly I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. You must believe, one. Two, he said, I am the bread of life. He said, your father ate the manna in the wilderness and they are dead. Those that ate the bread, didn't they die? They died. But this one, you will not die. He said, this is the bread which comes down from heaven that one may eat of it and not die. Me, die, come kill me now. I am the living bread. He said, which came down from heaven. If anyone eat of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh. 
That is faith. As I'm taking this communion now, this is the flesh of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. It's faith. Faith supersedes everything. He said, this shall be my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Kai. The Jews therefore queried among themselves because they are bankrupt of knowledge and wisdom. They queried about among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? I'd be fool to cut my flesh. If you make her die, they didn't understand it. Then Jesus said to them, most certainly I said to you, unless, now it's a commandment. Un, it's a commandment. It's a law. Jesus passed it into law. When they started querying among themselves, he signed it into law. He called the sons, the senior advocates of that time, put it into law. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life with you. It's a law. Whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life. And that is the only people I will raise up at the last day. If you don't take communion, he won't raise you up at the last day. He don't know you. This is him talking. He said, for my flesh is food indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. He will eat my flesh and drink my blood. Abide in me. That is what he can do. You will start doing. Abide in me and I will abide in him. We are now one. What you can do, you can do. As the living father sent me, anyone that eats my flesh, and I live because of the father, so he who feed on me, oh God, he who feed on me, will live because of me. Jesus lived because of God, I will live because of Jesus. He said, this is the bread which came down from heaven, not the one you ate in the wilderness. Your father ate the one in the wilderness and they were dead. But this one, anyone that eat this will live forever. May you live forever and see your great grandchildren. Yeah. Let somebody amen be louder. Yeah. As you eat this, your countenance will change. When I took the communion long ago, that was when my eye opened. 